fluffy blueberry pancakes. I am so excited for this recipe, you guys. I have no idea why I've waited so long to make it with you. And by the way, if this is your first time following, you should know that all my recipes right below the video is where I put all the ingredients, the measurements. You and I get to make these awesome pancakes together and have a good time. And I share with you all of my tips and tricks to make all your pancakes perfect. In this bowl, I am going to put in my dry ingredients. You can use all-purpose flour for this recipe. Even on all-purpose, gluten-free flour will work. It's always a good idea to use a scoop and fill method when you measure flour, which you use another scooper to fill your measuring scoop. We are adding one cup here and another one on this side. To our flour, I'm adding baking powder. Baking powder is what makes this recipe very fluffy and makes our pancakes rise. I'm also gonna add a little bit of sugar. It tones down the acidity from the baking powder and the flour. And with a whisk, I'm going to combine this. Now I do have a pinch of salt in the recipe, which I'll add right about now and combine that in this bowl. To our dry ingredients bowl, I'm going to add an egg in the middle, and then I have some melted butter and milk. Now you can use a dairy milk or a dairy-free milk, whatever you normally use at home, it works with this recipe. Now if you are obviously dairy-free, omit the butter and swap it out. And with your whisk, you are going to first break the egg and whisk it inside of your bowl. And once you whisk your egg, then you're going to combine it with the rest of the wet ingredients and slowly start incorporating the dry ingredients from the sides of your bowl. This is normally where you see directions in recipes. Mix it until just combined, but don't overmix. That's what overmixing really means. To just go around your bowl and combine the dry ingredients until there are no lumps, but you don't wanna mix forever. So this pancake batter is looking really good. And for this recipe, I am using frozen blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen, whatever you have around. And I'm just going to add them at the very end. And fold them in means just take a spatula and fold them into your batter. The more you move them around and the more you fold them in, your batter is gonna turn bluish purple. And you just, especially if you're using fresh blueberries, you don't wanna disturb them too much. Guys, I almost forgot to add my vanilla and you would add it during the wet ingredients. Just a little bit goes a long way, but blueberries and vanilla, you could even do a little lemon zest. So I'm going to gently mix this into my batter. But again, you would add it just like the directions right below the video with the wet ingredients. Now today I'm using a griddle just to make a lot of more pancakes at once, but you can also make pancakes on a pan. Just make sure that's a non-stick pan because the last thing you want is to have this beautiful batter and have your pancakes break when you flip them. And yes, even though it's a non-stick pan, I still give it a little good grease so that I get golden pancakes on the outside every time. And with a scoop, I simply place some batter right on my pan. You wanna make sure you have a good batter to blueberry distribution so that it cook right in. Some pancakes are always blueberry heavy while others are a little lighter. All right guys, so you know it's time to flip when your pancakes start to bubble up and the edges are defined. And of course they lift easily from the side. Let's remove these from here onto a plate. I can already smell these are amazing and we're gonna let them cool down for a second before I show you what they look like inside. Oh my goodness, perfection right here. Let's add a little bit of butter to the top. Some syrup. Check out all those blueberries inside of these pancakes. It's almost like blueberry jelly, but not. Mm-mm. So good, I'm having a pancake moment. 
Make sure to grab the measurements to the ingredients in this recipe below this video. There'll be a link there for you as well as other awesome pancake recipes, which I have tons on this channel. And while you're down there, hit that red subscribe button so you and I get to flip pancakes, make delicious recipes a few times a week. See you next time.